we have 19% humidity. Okay. The relative humidity is 19%. Just talk a little loud, so. Okay. It'll be so it's gonna be 18 Celsius, the temperature of the compressed air. So that's uh, regular air. Regular air from okay. the boat. And it's gonna be 19% humidity. 19% humidity. Okay. okay. Now we check the air coming out of the TD3. We will see the results. TD3. TD3. TD3 is thermal dry technology. You hear that? Thermal dry technology. <laughs> so we will see that very quickly we can shift from 19% to zero point something relative humidity. Okay, so. so basically, we can remove all the humidity out of the compressor. Zero percent. Zero percent. And if we check the temperature, you know, now we are around 40 Celsius, and that's the temperature we want to use during the process. The reason why, we're going to see it in details now when we present the unit, how it works, and why the unit helps the entire process. Okay. And can you adjust yes. everything? Can you, you can adjust a temperature for base coat, a temperature for clear coat, okay. and a temperature for drying in between coats. Okay. So, this is how TD3 works. This is how TD3 works. So the reason why we can have that big impact on the quality of the compressed air is because we have a four filtration stages. We have a water filter, oil filter, silica gels for any relative humidity, where you can actually control the status of the silica gel from the changing of the color. So when it's yellow, it means it's working, then silica acts like a sponge, absorbs humidity and turns to blue and goes to saturation. So silica is very effective but needs to be maintained. And this unit is self-maintenance, we will see why. Now this, uh, are these, this will turn blue? Correct. Okay. As soon as it absorbs humidity, it will turn blue. So once they're saturated, once they're with, saturated with humidity, yes, they'll turn blue. They turn blue. Okay. At that point, you are supposed to bake the silica to, to, to restore it back to normal condition. Oh. Here we have a very simple system. We have a valve where we switch it on. The heat, the heat goes back into the silica. Okay. It completely dries. The moisture is discharged by a valve, and you are good to go in perfect condition again after oh, wow. a four hour cycle. It can be automatic, done once a week, or it okay. can be manual. Okay. So that's what keeps silica gel in perfect condition. Then can, we have an can that cycle be scheduled so it can be like after well, hours? It can be after hours. Okay. It's four hour automatic. Yeah, okay. But you know, you can it's do perfect. it also in between lunch break, just do a 30 minutes depending on what's the status, up to you really. Okay. But to do a complete one, you need four hours. Correct, okay. four hours. Then you have a, a charcoal filter. This is very important because we go down to 0 0.03 micron. So okay. it really absorbs any impurities. Also, if it's in, at the gas status or a vapor status. Okay. So that's very important. And that's where the heat comes in place. We have a heating element. So we have a heater right here that is very, very powerful. And then we have a hose that is heated through the entire lamp. And there is a thermocouple that checks the temperature at the end of the hose and in every single second is able not just to heat the compressed air but to deliver the proper temperature and keep it constant during the entire process. So here for example with the remote control we have T1 for base coat that usually is 42 Celsius. Okay. We have T2 for clear coat okay. and then we are drying for the drying time. Why is it important to have the proper temperature? We make an example like for this blower for example. If you put your hand right here, you're gonna feel that the temperature is hot. Okay, it's really close. Yeah. But if you go down here, you feel it's cold. Right. This is a physical process. It's air expansion. Okay. So yeah. whatever you have an, an air expansion, the temperatures drop around 10 Celsius. Okay. It means that you have a typical winter day or a humid day. However, your compressor is gonna be in the 10, 15, 20 Celsius. Okay. By the time that you have the expansion, the drops takes the temperature so low that the paint doesn't flow properly. So okay. you slow the process, you don't have the nice smooth finish, you're gonna have more orange peel. So the TV3 makes this parameter constant during the entire year and always gives you better condition 
in terms of relative humidity through the silica gel, okay. in terms of proper temperature application, okay. and clean, purified, dry air. <clears throat> okay. Awesome. So for drying, you would set it at 70? Yes. Right? right. And then that would, that would help with the, the air expansion for it not to go too cold Correct. once it hits the panel, therefore drying the paint faster. Absolutely. And even during the, the paint process itself, to have the proper temperature of the compressed air helps a better flow, to okay. be smoother, right. to have a faster drying time, and to have a proper application. Okay. That's why, for example, usually on a nice sunny dry day in summer, it's easier to paint than during a right. humid day or during a now, winter day. Now, question. If, if it's, say, in, in California, it's yep. 100 degrees outside, yep. can you get rid of the heat? And just keep, uh, and just get so leave just the, the filtration. You just use the filtration and then get rid of the humidity. Correct. Okay. But consider that you have a refrigerator in your spray booth, you know, in your spray booth plant. The refrigerator takes the temperature of the compress down to five, ten Celsius okay. in any case. Okay. And and most of the professional shops do have a refrigerator in the line. Okay. So they take the dry the, the humidity out, but they still have you know all the impurities and okay. eventually not the proper temperature application. Okay. In fact, we saw several units in California, for example. Yes. yes. Okay. Several units a lot. What's What's one of the uh, What's one of the, like when it comes to, because I mean in Canada we get really hot summers, but they're very humid. Yes. Right. So we wouldn't We wouldn't use so much the heat. I mean, yeah. obviously in the winter when it's minus thirty. Um, the benefit of the application of the filtration and of the drying given by the silica gel. Okay. Okay. Very cool. If you, have us, if you guys have any questions, just comment below and uh, we'll make sure that uh, we'll answer all your questions. We're going to see right now the application.